A lot of people ask me about units versus flat betting. Let's talk about it. A lot of people think the only way you make money in the sports wagering world is to pick more winners than losers. And if you pick more winners than losers, you're going to make money. But are you making as much money as you possibly can? That's the question. So let's talk about Big Al. He had his best week ever so far in 2024, making $55,650 for a dime per unit player this week. That means if you started with a $100,000 bankroll on Monday, you ended the week with $155,650 in your account with a profit of 55.65% return on your money. But how did you do it? And what would happen if you flat bet? Well, let's go through it. On Monday, he was 1-1. One and one. On Tuesday, he was 6-1. and one. On Wednesday, he was 3-3. Three and three. On Thursday, he was 4-1-1. One and one. On Friday, he was 0-1. Oh on Saturday, he was 7-2. and two. And on Sunday, he was 4-2. and two. If you add that up, he was 25-11-1 this week. A dime per unit better who flat bet every game the same made $12,900 for the week. The unit betting system client that did not heed the advice and just, I'm going to bet all the games the same, made $12,900 for the week. The client that was an actual subscriber and listener and follower made the $55,650 for the week. So let's talk about risk versus reward. On Monday, Big Al was 1-1, one one, risking $4,300, losing $100. On Tuesday, Big Al was 6-1, and one, risking $33,600, winning $19,700. On Wednesday, Big Al was 3-3, three and three, losing $2,600, risking $15,000. On Thursday, Big Al was plus $79,50, going 4-1-1, four, 4-1-1, one and, one, four, four and, one and 1, risking $32,600. On Friday, Big Al was 0-1, risking $2,100, losing $2,100. On Saturday, Big Al was 7-2, winning $17,000, but risking $38,300. On Sunday, today, Big Al was 4-2, making $15,800, risking $26,300. If you add up the daily risk, he risked $152,300 this week. So he risked $52,000 more than the actual principal bankroll because he was doing it on a daily basis. This is what we call in the industry as the handle. This is how professionals trade. Now, again, could you have made a profit? Flat betting every game the same, going 25, 11, and 1. Hell yeah, you would have made 12,900 bucks. But if I take my calculator and I take $55,650 and I subtract 12,900, I am left with a differential of 42,750. Same games you leave 42.75% on the table, not following unit betting system. If you're a high net worth individual and you want to find out how to treat your wagering as a business and you want to pick out plays like this, by all means, it's not for everybody. Because if you're willing to make 55% of your bankroll on your bankroll, you have to be willing to lose 55%. It is binary, right? There's only two chances in this game. Win, lose, there's a third chance. Push, but we're going to call it win and lose. What it is, what it is. Too many people lose money, not because sports betting is hard. It's because it's hard to make your wagers based upon fundamentally only having a winning percentage. Professional bettors at the end of the year do not care about their win-loss percentages. They don't care if they're 60%. They don't care if they're 58%. They don't even care if they're 48%. What they care about is, did they have more money on the larger plays? 
And this is something that you need to grasp in your head if you want to move forward from being a Joe to a pro. So I just wanted to walk you through that instead of just throwing out there, Big L made 55, 6, doesn't matter if you don't understand what's entailed. If you want to come on this journey and treat your wagering as a business, click the video below for the blueprint of sports trading. If you want to find out the difference between what syndicates do and handicappers do, check out my video, What is a Syndicate? If you need the link, text me for it. Your complimentary selection tomorrow in the NBA is we're going to roll with the Pacers minus the six and a half at home. Good day and good luck. Oh, and by the way, if you're a Dime Club member, you were plus 1970 for the week. No games on Saturday at 937 Eastern Standard Time today. You received three plays in the ATP Dubai uh, tennis matches going at 4 o'clock, 4, 4.05 and 5.05 respectively tomorrow morning. So again, we don't care about what we wager on. We're global, not local. This is the difference between being a better and being a trader. Good day and good luck.